Yo! What is this game? Well, quick title check, Cinemora. Now, this game was previously released on PlayStation Chan Xbox XBLA, and I kind of fucked up and I couldn't purchase it back then. Why? Money. <laughs> but it came on a Steam sale and I decided to pick it up. So, I don't know if you know, but Cinemora is a shooter game. A shooter game where time constantly advances. Actually, when I mean time, I mean your death count. Um, yeah, you do have a time limit from the start. Anyway, let me just jump right in and show you what's up. Uh, I didn't even start the story, so this is a fresh start. Yes, there is a story with different character and different ships. And the story looks quite grim. Works with the setting, right? Eh, works. Ha az időutazás képességével születtél, az első dolog, amit meg kell tanulnod, az. Oh, I might as well read it for you. When you are born with the ability to travel through time, the first thing you must learn is that you cannot be in more than one place at the same point in time. Special thought. You may be. You are not immortal. You must give due consideration not only to when and where you do things, but also what you do while there. The second thing to bear in mind is that your gift, like rage, is meaningless without power. Yet all powers on soul lies in the hands of the Lyle Empire. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is actually going to be a long story, so you must all pause because <laughs> I'm not going to be able to keep that up. No joke, this is quite long. I mean, check it out. Oh. Okay, well, I take that back. I could have read that. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> no, the bulk of the story is going to come up soon. I, I think they speak in Russian. I should have gotten way more information about who made this game and when. And where. <laughs> who, when, where. But already, this is giving me a Heinhander vibe. Okay, so I've got 29 seconds or 27 seconds to live. Twenty two seconds? How do I increase this? It's by taking down enemies. The quicker you take them down, the more lives or time you'll get. And frankly, don't die, because you'll lose more time. So frankly, it's a simple system, right? Take them out, get more time, and you'll be able to live. They call me the Cobot King. This is why they call me the King. Okay, checkpoint 19 seconds. I do have a sub weapon, which is my fuck you missiles. Loving it. Oh, that was my last charge. So basically, I gotta deal the deal. Stand alone now. Alright, let's move in for the kill. Ooh, okay. Should have barrel rolled. Alright. Selecting a route. I don't understand the route select, but let's go for an advice. Time capsule activated. 
What does the time capsule do? Well, it plays with time, doesn't it? So, if we go with time capsules, this is what it does. It slows down time. So depending on the scenario, I may need to dodge at the correct time. Oh god, lost a few seconds there. Oh boy, let's be careful. Yeah, if I get hit, I lose time. If I die, I lose even more time. Whoa. Okay, now how do I take them out? That's what I want to know. So you see, time mechanic, uh, you do have some power-ups as you pick them up. They will float from your dead enemies or just randomly there. You do get time extension, some more sub-weapons, and bonus score. And replenish my capsule. Uh, additional seconds, shield, and more firepower. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Uh, let's see. Upgraded in nine steps. Uh huh. Upgrades are permanent. However, if I get hit, my token will fly out. So don't get hit. <laughs> and collect as much as you can. Welcome to war, soldier. And this is why they call me the king. What the hell is an half knee? Oh! Somebody got set up a bomb. Something went horribly wrong with that mission, and this is why they don't call me the king. So, basically, we were the end keys. Three bombs just... wait, actually. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Three bombs killed, huh, huh? So the end keys, cries of a billion citizen. Oh, and this is where he lost his son. He was the pilot, the Cobalt King. Hmm. So, the fourth bomb never dropped. Interesting. What? What? Basically, his son, in a sense, did not want to drop a fourth bomb on those poor end keys. Yet, basically, as soon as he's like, yo, I'm not dropping that bomb, they shot him in the head. And as a dad, my main character, or my character, current character, just wants revenge. Um, which is kind of fucked up. But that's not really how it happened, is it? I mean, we did see that uh, everything was spick and span, yet something happened. There was a big explosion, which vaporized whoever, including the Cobalt King. So, so there's more than meets the eye. Possibly the dad had no idea of what happened. Moneta. And let's see. Now we're in Moneta. Uh, ooh, we're on the opposite camp. Basically, these guys got fucked over by our bomb. More than two million of their race got vaporized, and the collaborators, oh wow, they got dragged away, possibly to die. 
És hogy mit tehetünk értük? Let's see. Megteszünk mindent. So now part of the resistance, or we're looking at the other side of what happened. Basically the side that got kind of wiped out and wants a bit of revenge. Pilot Lint Ito. Ito Idriad. Az ároknál vagyunk. Megkezdjük az ereszkedést. Sok szerencsét, Akita. A perem vidék aktivitása a várakozásaink tapasztalat. Oh, so that's my pilot. Csapok egy kis zajt, hogy elteveljem a kérdemet rólatok. Okay, so I'm a bit of a frog here. Let's take care of these people. Now, this is where the game begins, in a sense. This is one of the first levels you can choose in uh, arcade mode. I want to use and abuse of that time thing. You know me! You fucking know how I play these kind of games. I will use and abuse of that time thing if it's going to give me more time to live. Whoa. I just need to be extremely careful not to use it all up. Whoa! And also gotta keep, uh, gotta keep a hands on what's happening though. Loving it though. Fucking loving it. It's still, you know, it's still starter difficulty. I think I should have uh, switched it up, but I was never too sure. All right, time seems to have stabilized. My abilities are now complete. <laughs> Not really. It's just a checkpoint. Oh. Yo, Driak. It's a sentinel. It's gonna have the rocket punch, guys. Look out! Oh, I remember you. I remember you from that. Whoa! I didn't remember that. And looks like I have a big FU laser. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Okay. That was awfully too close. Uh, am I shooting the right part? Perfect. I'm still gonna use my fuck you laser whenever I want. Oh! No! Ah! Woo! Fuck you laser! Ah! Give me back my power up! Okay. Where... Where's your hitbox? Oh! I did not like that. That hit was bad. I didn't lose too much out of it. I'm all out of time though. Or, you know, time capsule. My, uh, sore use and abuse of it. Still, I'm getting more power up, so I'll see if I can manage it. It's a lot of fun! I really like the stylistic of this. It's grim, it's dark, it's not anime. It's, uh, it's got its own flair, you know? Not that I hate Tohu, I actually really like Tohu and what they do, but this is a great change. Oh! And I do like the fact that it's a different language. Oh, boy. How much bombs do I have? Okay, there we go. Oh, no! No! Oh, fuck, I'm losing it. No, nope, I got it. Shit, 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 shit. Hey, uh, where's your next hitbox? Damn it! I've got no beat. Oh, okay, there we go. And it's gonna go with its own fuck you laser. Okay, I can still have a nice hitbox on it. Haha! <laughs> but I shouldn't feel too pride. This is Navice. I should jump on advanced. Okay, switching character. Now I'm playing as Kos Runotra. Kos Runotra. Runotra. Yada yada yada. Okay, loading's taking a bit long.
but that happens mostly because my PC is not as good as it used to be that in the game has a lot of things to load and it's on Steam and it really feels like it crashed I think it crashed well that just happened I don't think it crashed it's just my PC being so slow ah why why now damn it okay well it crashed it really crashed on me well Cinemora you can buy it ah <laughs> oh, come on just load up man just load up I really think it crashed Uh, that's kind of bad. Whoever says PC Master Race, take that to the face. I'm pretty sure the PS3 version would have not crashed. And this, this just, just crashed on me. No mercy given. Okay, well, I'm going to try to have a run back on it. <laughs> a, a slight bit of a run, run back, just stay tuned. There's going to be a run back. A slight run back on this damn you crashing game running it back salty salty run back because I crashed another time so at this point you know what guys we're going for arcade or maybe score attack ah, one of these two so as you can see you can choose ship uh, depending on what you got in the story and possible unlocks uh, and you do get a scope of what's your hitbox very very useful in a game like that um let's see i could take the soprano i didn't i've never experienced this ship so let's go uh character wise it only affects your sub weapons and i guess i did not well i didn't unlock squat uh i think he is the dad of let's see uh I think he's the dad of that character that died at the beginning. I think so. Unless it's him. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, now for the time capsule. I can roll back, I can do reflection. So you, instead of only having speed up, you can choose other things like reflector shields or roll back. <laughs> before you got hit or destroyed um, so you know what just for just for hell's sake let's go with reflection and um, I have no idea what this is I I seriously have no idea I think it's already selected already played okay well let's try it out uh, let's see I can only choose between hard mode and insane, so that's already a bit nutty. But hey, let's check it out. Uh, from what I've tried before, hard mode is quite fucking hard, so maybe I should have chose my time capsule. Or, I mean my speed up. Oh well, whatever, let's go. Stage 1. Have you guys seen it on hard? <laughs> Look at that, I start with even less time and I get even less time. Ooh, okay. I love that. The reflector. Oh, it took a hit. No! And I go with credits, too. And with your credits, you restart the entire thing. So, don't mess around. On this time, I feel like I was a bit too low. Seeker missile. Oh, come on! Wow. So, every time you get hit, you get a lot of time removed. And that determines how, well, you know, if you're gonna die or not. Uh, so, you gotta pick your targets. Straight away, pick whatever you think you're gonna be able to hit. 
because frankly you can't hit them all not on this mode or you could try to have a bounce reflector uh, but it really all depends oh no okay close enough it really all depends who's bouncing at which point uh, now I I can't seem to get the hang of it so maybe I shouldn't really rely on that too much. Uh, maybe a safety shield? I think that's gonna be its method. Just safety shield on it. Okay, boss time. Fly around. I'm surprised. Bit of frame rate issue. And there we go. Uh, my other character was much better to deal with this boss, but the huge issue is gonna be that he's gonna pop his entire bullshit conundrum and wow hard mode is hard people hard mode is fucking hard ah oh, no no okay that that's just <laughs> Wow, that's just difficult. Quite difficult. They did say hard mode, and this is your kind of shooter. Where you're gonna get must over. Okay, let's see. Uh, Liberator may have had some good stuff. Uh, my only problem is I don't have th I don't have pilots for this kind of stuff. Um, okay, good old speed up. Wait, what? What have I chosen? It chooses randomly? Interesting. Okay. Interesting? I don't really know what these do. I still think it's gonna send me to stage one. Should, right? Yep, stage one. As expected. Makes sense. Uh, okay, salty run back, take two, hard mode. Let's go. Nothing really changed aside from the color of my ship and my power-up. Um, one thing I definitely need to learn uh, to do way more often is just bob and weave. Bob and weave throughout the entire environment. Uh, because they'll, you know, my position doesn't remain still. So I can just traverse, acquire power-ups, and feel less threatened, of course. Uh, thank God I got that shield. Last minute. Oh, no! No, come back! Come back! Oh, and this piece of thing is still shooting at... Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, managing my space. It's the ultimate lesson here. Just managing your space. And also getting power-ups. See, and the more power-ups I get, the better I can deal with certain things. And fuck it, time to use bombs sometimes. Ooh. That was close. There you go, I'm trying to get more space in. That may have looked like a waste. Oh no! I want him- Whoa! Ah! Seeker missiles for everyone. No! Oh, it's because they spawn on me. Whoa, straight up. I should have seen that one coming. Okay. Much better run. Mostly because less fail was in there. Uh, problem is, when the boss comes, you get fucked over. Practically. I kind of wish I had uh, that previous ship, man. Those lasers. They did what needed to be done. Uh, which means they blocked... Whoa! Okay. And I ran out of time. So this game... Gets difficult, guys. 
it gets really difficult. When you get on hard mode, you've got to manage your time like a beast. But it's a lot of fun. And I guess uh, the rest is boss training or score attack. So you do have varied game modes where you're still going to have to play it on hard, I bet. I think. Speed up. Yep, you still got to play on, on hard. So normal mode is only for story mode from what I can see. Um, but then again, yeah, sure, it, it works for what it does. So if it didn't crash on me during stage transition, uh, I'd be less salty. And I'm still less salty because I didn't buy it that, exp or, you know, I bought it at 66% off. So it wasn't that expensive, and it's a fun experience. It's just going to require a lot of time and mastery. Well, time to practice, and time to stay alive. So, Cinemora, very, very funky style of shooter, uh, bullet hell shooter. Very different. I like it. I really like it. If only it ran properly on my PC, I would like it even more. So that shouldn't really affect my score, but again, whoever says PC Master Race, screw you. <laughs> I'm not made out of money! But I hope the makers of Cinemora are, because they can do another game, and we'll have, you know, different, different type of shooters, you know. They already did a good job on this, and this has its own lore and history, so... I'll see what I can do to make it run better on my PC, but you can also check it out on PS3, Xbox, and if you have a good PC, or top of the line 1080p 60 frame per second resolution PC, then you can get it on Steam. Again, Cinemora. One heck of a bullet hell shooter and really gives me that Einhander feeling. Or Einhander. I'll see you all later.